Welcome to another episode of Galactic Ambassadors podcast. My name is Julia Balaz. I'm coming to you from Ireland. And today I'm joined by our wonderful Ursula O'Farrell from the Ascension Playground. Those of you that are with us for a while may remember Ursula joining me on several podcasts. Such a treat to have her here. And uh, today we're here to hold space for Tammy Roth and congratulate her to her recent certification as a quantum soul guidance practitioner. Welcome, Tammy. Thank you. So you're coming to us from Florida, originally from Tennessee, USA, right? And Ursula is in California, right? Welcome, ladies. So good to have you here. So today is 6th of uh, September 2024 when we are recording this. And Tammy, do you remember the date of your certification? I don't. <laughs> I think it was before summer, wasn't it? It's been a couple of months. Yeah, a couple of months. Yeah, we. Um, it's been a busy summer, so we're starting a busy season again and uh, really excited about that. So, Tammy, what's so exciting for me as you come into today's show is learning about your path as, first of all, psychotherapist, and then a decade or over a decade of facilitating family constellations therapy or consultations. You can correct me when you uh, get the mic and and the last two years after you enrolled in the Quantum Soul Guidance or the Galactic Astrology courses, you felt really excited about exploring more in depth the super cosmic points, Galactic Center, Super Galactic Center, the Great Attractor and the Shapley Attractor. We'll share visuals and talk about these a lot in this podcast. And there's something really unique about your uh, technique or style in supporting your clients when they book uh, their session with you. And that is not to explain to them what you see in their chart, but you hold space and bring them into the field of their galactic astrology and allow them to connect intuitively and with their entire being with the consciousness of not just the planetary spheres that have so much to tell and but also the super cosmic points so i can't wait for you to uh, take us on a journey here but first i would like to know about your earlier journey in life kind of that that led you or that is maybe at the basis of how your mind works and where your passions come from where would you like to start ah uh, well i spent 15 years in corporate um like many of us did and then the past 20 five years in more of the therapeutic realm as a holistic psychotherapist. And then, like you had already said, you know, the past 10 years, once I got introduced to the quantum field, <laughs> there was just no going back and doing family constellations, but really doing all of my work in the quantum field and just, you know, moving energy in that way. And, and that's actually how astrology like really dropped in for me because I had tried to learn it, you know, would take class after class and it's like nothing would, ju it just wasn't sticking with me. And then once I experienced it in the field, it's just everything kind of came together. It was pretty amazing. When you mentioned the in the field, is that something that you practice with the family constellations? And for those that are not familiar with this modality, can you tell us a little bit about that? What is it like to experience, experience family constellation session? Well, it's working, it's operating off the, the understanding that energy never dies. And so um, patterns get passed within families or or different systems it doesn't just have to be a family you know any the the culture you live in the country you live in there's all kinds of energetic patterns that if they're not acknowledged honored grieved you know whatever it is like we tend to be people who sweep things under the rug when it's uncomfortable <laughs> and so that and i i get a visual of this energy gets swept under the rug and then you've got this big knot of energy and then it just gets passed to the next generation and it just keeps getting bigger and it shows up as patterns of shows up as patterns but especially as illness or mental health issues and so when we access the quantum field we can transcend time and space and and go back and help relieve the tension in the field with the ancestors of something that hadn't been acknowledged grieved was 
excluded, just so many things. And of course, we come from a, such a traumatic history with wars and poverty and oppression that that those kind of those patterns just keep getting passed forward. Yeah, if you're okay, I'm going to chime in real quick. Since we're talking about your journey um, before, I want to call out that you actually have a PhD in metaphysics. And the careful study and the extension to which you or extensive deep dive into this unseen realm, perhaps before it was a thing, right? And so for me, when you shared that, it was like, wow, somehow in your ch natal chart and the soul wanting to hold and anchor this high level of focused about all things metaphysical. Um, and so, yes, psychotherapy and the family constellations. I've had sessions before and until you experience it, it's it's quasi when you get into the field it's quasi um channeling and what comes through people who are basically stepping in for your energy it, it's remarkable so it's these big pieces of focus that you have and the idea that it's all been about self-understanding and helping others um traveling along the path and um, i love also that you called yourself on your website a black sheep and so if you could comment a little bit about that, because anyone listening might also feel like, oh, that's me. And giving voice to what did that feel like and how did it inform your focus as at a PhD level? Yeah, um, just growing up in a as a highly sensitive little being in a highly dysfunctional family with a lot of trauma and addiction and early on starting to numb out my own my sensitivities and moving into the world of addiction and simultaneous like learning how to numb really well with alcohol and other substances but then also really having a deep desire for healing along with connection. So I was on these parallel paths of addiction and healing. And finally the healing won out over the addiction, thank goodness. But um, yeah, just not feeling, you know, not fitting into my family because I, I wanted to feel and I wanted to acknowledge what was going on and, and really, you know, just feeling like a black sheep in society, being highly sensitive, which I know now you know, more and more people are stepping forward and acknowledging the sensitivity. I mean, I think we're all sensitive. It's just that some of us um, have a little less boundary around it than others. So, so yeah, just that journey of really claiming and honoring and loving my sensitivity now. Um, but for for the first half of my life, it was not the most comfortable thing. <laughs> Quite fascinating to look at your natal chart and see how it how it played out in your life. With your permission, would it be okay if I shared um, a glimpse? I, I just wanted to comment that the word embodiment um, for all of Tammy's beginnings, feeling like a black sheep, where do I belong, how that like thread informed her to sit within her body and feeling what numbness feels like and then feeling what the dark night of the soul feels like. But then now to come out the other side as a wisdom teacher um, that brings people into an embodied experience is just what I wanted to lay. This is the fun part when you actually see the proof of so, what her soul agreed to. Uh, so fascinating to see that the very busy fourth house. So you have Sun, Mercury, Uranus, and Pluto, Stelium in Virgo in fourth house, all sign house. So that perhaps might explain really challenging dynamics in your home and your role as a as a breaker of the pattern, right? With the Uranus uh, being there, Mercury is the ruler of your chart. His ascendant is in Gemini, and uh, I was I wanted to highlight your empty eighth house with no planets assigned there, and your interest in uh, psychotherapy and now esoterics and perhaps it's because the ruler of your eighth house uh, which is in capricorn is saturn in pisces in 10th house so isn't it fascinating that your profession became something that is associated very much with the eighth house but also 12th house that's connected with uh, mental illnesses and often people who have planets in the 12th house may find themselves working in, in that field 
um, as well as the sixth house. So psychotherapy nurse having these placements here make to makes total sense in connection to, to what I've just mentioned here. And of course, Chiron here in Pisces, together with Saturn in Pisces, uh, all, all the, the addictions um, that you've mentioned, and luckily the Saturn, once you learned about all the challenging experiences, I believe it was your own initiation Journey, um, journey of a master teacher guide for those that are working, um, walking the difficulty of addictions anchored in uh, familial uh, trauma, right? So it's like, who better can guide them and help them and support them as someone who actually lived it experientially? Isn't that quite fascinating? In terms of the galactic alignments, was there anything that stood out for you as you kind of connect and step into the field of not only the planetary guides in our life, but also the fixed stars? And most of all, your specialty now or the greatest passion is the super cosmic points. So you have the galactic center on your south lunar node in Sagittarius. Just, I think, the degree, a degree off my own, my south node is uh, at, at, uh, here too, and your north node at 28 degrees of gemini in battle geese and right now it's activated with um is it mars and, or jupiter no not jupiter not jupiter not yet uh oh no mars is on bellatrix a star actually on your ascendant isn't it interesting that we are recording this when mars is transiting your ascendant and my moon we were just talking about the stars of Bellatrix and Betelgeuse on our last Q&A call with the community. And many of our members of the community have these stars in their natal chart and activated. And many mentioned the addictions and how challenging it is to, to work through them and how important the self-love is in the emerging discipline of choosing what's best and healthiest for the body. So anyway, would you like to comment on any of the placements as you experienced them from early on? Um, well, once I learned astrology, the Virgo stellium with Pluto there next to my son did. It's like, OK, this makes a lot of sense. And then, yeah, having Saturn in Pisces opposite, I've always I've felt like that that was hugely helpful in my own recovery journey like really that that saturn discipline and bringing the spirituality in so so that made a lot of sense once i started understanding astrology but the galactic center was i mean that has just been a, a huge i mean it just opened up everything for me because i had not i'd never heard of it until just a couple of years ago and with in a reading with somebody you know, I'd had many readings in the past, and then we were at the last minute or two of the reading, and she said, oh, I didn't get to get to the galactic center, but your south node is there. And then we en ended the call, and I was like, I just felt pinged. I was like, what? What is that? And I went on a journey of, like, you know, searching out what does this mean? And then that's how I found um, you, Julia, and took the first course and then it's like, oh, I want more. And then when I when I got a chart that Ursula created, I feel like that chart itself just activated something in me. This is such a powerful chart. What I noticed from there is as I, the clients I was working with, there was a pattern of my clients having planets or points at one or more of these four super cosmic points and so that that just got me even more interested and it just kind of took over the work i was doing <laughs> amazing this uh I, this um visual was a collabor actually inspired by ursula's initial creation the, the idea of putting them together in spiral this way uh, came from ursula herself and we actually have a number of beautiful presentation presentations from Ursula in our QSG course on um, kind of basic astrology. So the artist in her certainly is coming to good use in our community. It's wonderful to see. So I'm curious, Tammy, as you guide people to connect with these super cosmic points experientially, is there 
anything you would like to highlight um, as something that you wanted to share in this podcast of what people can experience when they come into contact with you? The sessions are never the same. So, you know, I always go in just curious about what's going to happen. But but there are some some themes that I have seen for sure. And that is that we, we go through this process and it becomes very clear that the client is either already unconsciously aware of, of this cosmic um, intelligence within them, or that it it's sitting there more or less dormant, just waiting to be invited in. And so the part of really inviting energy in is just absolutely fascinating to witness because people are just having such embodied experiences of the energy, like really coming alive within them. And then there's been um, several sessions that it was very clear that we're not going out to these black holes. The energy is coming to us. And in one session, um, it was communicated that we are the portals, that these frequencies want to come through us. And so my belief is that the clients I'm attracting have these you know points and planets there and that they're getting activated in these sessions and then they are going out and you know transmitting these frequencies and that it it, it just feels so massive like that it can really support awakening on the planet so it's just really fun and if i could just chime in um the the thought that that visual tammy um when we talked kind of served as um, a springboard or a portal itself. Sometimes when the mind sees, oh, the spiral and and what does it all mean? Because there's so much information, but how do we work with a visual to allow for whatever subconsciously wants to come through? So, you know, Julia, in the class, we really learn about the difference between these super cosmic points or black holes. So the galactic center, the super galactic center, Shapley and the great detractor, right? So, and then there's more. And so we should just do a call out to Philip Sedgwick. And in the course, Julia um, has had an interview that she shares with Philip. And my other little quick point being double Virgo is, Tammy, when I saw your natal chart, it was shown to me that that Neptune your natal Neptune in Scorpio in that sixth house next to your vertex, what gives you blessings that sometimes the illusion or the numbing out or what's real, what's not real, that that is showing up in the house of the body. And so this idea that you're moving forward with an embodiment experience for your clients, it's not like I'm going to teach you all astrology. It's not like come feel the energy come feel it in you and have your own unique experience. And, you know, as long as I've studied astrology, when you gave me a session, I was like, whoa, hadn't even considered where it showed up in my body. And that really, really helped me go, wow, Tammy's going to do it her way, bringing all your loves and skill sets together to support the clients that are attracted to you. So anyone listening, if you call yourself, well, I'm not an astrologer, you know, we do open the course to beginner's minds. And so whether you have learned astrology or been trained in it or not, this is a beautiful circle and family to just jump into the deep end with the support of others. I don't know if you want to comment about that, Tammy, about joining up for a galactic astrology program. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was one of the things that really was remarkable to me. I'm, I'm so conditioned to being in, um, you know, communities and environments of this is how we do it. And yet it just, this is so flexible and fluid. And I just, I mean, I can just feel the frequency of the community itself trusting the cosmos and the quantum field and that you know that everything is not set in stone and a left brain way of doing things so i'm yeah i'm just so grateful to be experiencing being a part of a community that feels that way it's like such a big breath of fresh air <laughs> 
It's a before cool. Julia says anything, I just got to say it's because I think Julia Belaz has created something that's an Aquarian model, a new way of showing up. So you come where you are and start there, wherever you are. If you're, if you keep looking at this course and wondering, if you take the leap and jump in, there's you're going to find like-minded souls from around the world. And you know, and Tammy, again, you didn't edit yourself out saying I haven't studied astrology enough to join this. Instead, you said, well, let me move through the quantum experience and a focus now on the four super cosmic points. Thank you so much, ladies. I really appreciate that. And it's, uh, the, the community is absolutely wonderful. I want to come back to your chart, uh, Tammy, and make a point with something important and then bridge with that to your upcoming course uh, as we speak of courses. So I um, just want to point out to people, in your case, you had really intense experiences in your family uh, dynamic from early on. However, once you started evolving your consciousness, you kind of transformed all that or now it's your blessing in disguise and you're using that leveraging all those experiences for good, for helping others overcome their trauma. So now I see the sun Mercury, Pluto, and Uranus in your fourth house in Virgo as a wonderful cosmic guidance energy to put you in a position of a teacher of family constellations plus astrology, helping people kind of find clarity and um, heal and activate the cosmic uh, divine intelligence of their being and and make the most of of their life experience and here seeing your mc in the ninth house the house of a teacher and in aquarius associated with astrology i mean it, it couldn't have had a better chart for what you are kind of called to do so can we come to your website now and talk about the quantum astro school that's uh, forming please tell us more Yes, so it just kind of came in as a download. I had felt it floating around for several months and then it just dropped in. And that is how important it is for everyone to understand their astrology. It's like we have this soul's blueprint available to each one of us and we just need to get in activate it and allow it to guide our lives and it, it's been really clear too that this is a part of new earth it's like when we each really live into our soul's blueprint and we're that authentic it, i mean it's just so powerful but anyway i also feel like astrology has been taught in a very mechanistic left brain way traditionally and so this this program is we're going through it's a year long we go through a house a month and each planet in each house is going to be activated within but then along the way we're we're doing creativity so um it may be like creating little my intention is I'm going to have card stock and create cards for each planet, house, and sign. So I'll have like my own little divination deck. But the power of working with the right brain and the symbols which hold energy, I think, I really feel like that's going to activate it even more. So, so there is there is some left brain learning, but most of it is going to be very unique for each person. And by the end of the year, the, I mean, the way I experience astrology now is, yes, I can look at the transiting charts. And then if I know something is, you know, transiting my Saturn, I have a very personal relationship with Saturn now that does not match what I've read about Saturn. So my hope is that each person gets to know these planets and signs in their way. And then it can, you know, they can step into the field on their own and really live out their chart for the rest of their lives this is so exciting i like my heart really sings with joy seeing this type of direction that the astrology um learning and experience of it is taking place this is brilliant thank you so much tommy for following on on that call and i'm excited uh, even just imagining what the students may be experiencing in the 12 months that they'll that um that they'll spend with you it's wonderful to see anything you would like to comment ursula or 
I just like to call out that um, being on the right side of the brain, Tammy engages um, the quantum field through painting, like her beautiful paintings behind her, or like she mentioned, a card deck. Um, there's different ways that people will enter into the field, but to actually experience your own self in your body is what Tammy guided me through in our session. And her background as a therapist really gave me a safe harbor where I, she could ask me questions and I felt completely like, oh, let me check. I mean, it's a guide that I didn't have to worry or feel like, oh, what's going to pop out? So there was complete trust. And I do want to just credit Tammy, the background as a psychotherapist, having that background in metaphysics, working with family constellations as a facilitator, her work is really about asking you as the client, and how does it feel? And where is it? And where, how does Venus show up? You know, it's, it's remarkable. And bringing in the stars, I would just say when Tammy's doing her retreats, I saw on your website, you're going to be, you know, the forgotten coast of Florida. Um, I just want to call out that kind of mythos that it's no accident that Tammy's like working on a forgotten coast. And I kind of parallel that with if there's parts of you that you have forgotten, you know, consider having a um, a one-on-one -on -one session with Tammy to, well, she sits in a forgotten coast, like bringing that more to consciousness and those cosmic points, man, are they powerful? I thought I knew, but I hadn't felt them in my body, Julia. So I think Tammy's really bringing forward a unique and, and, and beautiful way of feeling into ourselves. Thank See what you, you get, Tammy, by giving me a session? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, so I want to just highlight the quantum astrology one-on-one -on -one sessions and what that may be like. And while they're still available, before she gets busy with holding space for the community of her students in a school, like, you know, I recall the quick shift in, in my um, life experience. So while it's hot, <laughs> take it, uh, book the session. But there was one thing that I've noticed with you, the blind spot or blind choice. Can you tell us a little bit about that when you, what that is in your one-on-one -on -one experience with clients when you let them choose? I'll guide them to access the field and then assign like, you know, we'll just, well, I, I work intuitively too. So I will look at the chart ahead of time. And a lot of times, you know, the planets or points will just be like, pick me, pick me. So it could be that there's two or three different places that we could enter the chart. And so what I do is I set it up in the field to where the client doesn't know what each energy is, but then they, they can feel, yeah, energy too is really calling me, that kind of thing. And then, then I'm like, okay, um, Venus just chose you. So we're going to, we're going to move into the sixth house in Virgo or whatever it is. Love so, that. Oh, yeah, brilliant. I love it's, that. It's a, it feels like it's kind of a form of divination along with it too. You know, it's just oracular and divination and it's just fun. <laughs> Beautiful. Very alive. The magic and the synchronicity present in your sessions and then the bodily sensations. Um, there really is nothing like it. You know, I just watched uh, recently an interview of, um, of astrophysicists who was very left brain focused until his late 50s. And then he had, for, for the first time, experienced his soul's light, essence of his being, and that completely transformed his life. He, he felt it in his body, he saw it, and then everything changed. So I think that physical body experience is life-changing, and I'm so happy to see that arising more and more with many practitioners worldwide, spontaneously, without knowing about each other's work. Like, we are all yearning for these experiences rather than just learning through the left brain. And how amazing for all the aeons of astrological um, schools and universities that were there even before maybe the Alexandria library burned and everything started shifting, but for how long it was made more so left brain uh, learning and what a what a change this Aquarian Pluto is bringing to our collective. How amazing, like the level of intelligence that comes through the activations of the brain. Wow. And we are only scratching the surface. Yes. 
The differential really is Tammy invites you into a relationship, like within yourself, like the astrology wheel outside, you can see it. But the invitation is to dance um, and feel supported by some of these stars and planets. So and their various aspects. So if anyone listening is in like a dark night of the soul, or you're really under it, um, a session with Tammy could f perhaps bring forward, who's there to help me? You know, I'm in relationship, but if I shut down and I'm numbing myself, how do I let the help in? And I think, Tammy, this is like, uh, it, it's a way to, to mitigate that, um, a way out of the dark if you choose it. But you have to be ready, right? You have to say, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. And I've also found that a lot of people who have come to me, they're in what would be considered difficult transits and then when we get in the field with pluto or saturn that we're finding that these planets are so supportive and that a lot of it is just programming that we you know that we adopt this belief that oh i'm in this challenging well it may be challenging but if you view it that it's very loving and for our soul's evolution that feels way different than just this punitive planet that's here to kick our butt you know <laughs> a lot different energy i loved seeing that highlighted on your website that you uh, through the experiences over many many sessions saturn pluto uranus and the other zodiacs that have um, been almost blacklisted as really challenging and difficult and dark actually it's all for the for that for our highest good or for the evolution of the soul and when you when you shift that perspective it's a very different relationship yeah. they can be quite amazing mm. And Julia, you probably noticed um, Eridanus constellation Akernar is up at the midheaven for Tammy. So Tammy, that's that message of that star is one who can hold an anchor in space during times of great crisis. So it's like all this is coming and Tammy can hold space for anyone like feeling like they're unsorted and it's in your 10th house. So it's really, it's for me, proof positive, you're in the right alignment for your soul's work. Awesome. I yeah. know, right? Yeah, that is, I really do feel like all of my experience up until now, it's like I, could, I couldn't have made this up, but it just feels so perfectly aligned. So, I, and, and this wouldn't be happening if, if I hadn't found y'all. So um, it's just amazing. Thank you. Well, we can only wish you the absolute best on your journey ahead. It feels like it's only beginning. It's only starting. And um, is there any final message that you would like to share with the audience as we close? Anything else that maybe we didn't ask and could have asked? I think we covered everything. That's good. Actually, I do have a question. So today is 6th of September and on your website, it says that the school enrollment starts uh, on the 10th of September. I'm not sure if the podcast will be out by then. Um, so in case people watch this a few days after the 10th of September, can they still enroll? Is there a, a, a gate? Um well, it's actually sold out because it's it's a live inter like I do mm -hmm. live small group um, cohorts, but I I'm already feeling like I need a second one to start um, possibly at the first of the year. So okay. if anybody's interested, they just need to email me and I'll create right. a list. I'm glad I ask. All yeah. right. Wow, what a star. Congratulations, Tammy, once again. Such a pleasure and privilege to share this space with you. Thank you, Ursula, for joining us. It was so good to have you here. Oh, you're welcome. Happy to hold space for Tammy. My goodness. Have fun with your certification and moving forward with your school, your one-on-one -on -one retreats, your group retreats. Anyone want to go try out Florida? You know, get on Tammy's wait list. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. The pleasure. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. Much love. Take care.